Ukrainian President Zelensky on Sunday night warned Belarusians not to allow Russian President Vladimir Putin to drag their country into his war against Ukraine. You are being drawn into the war. The Kremlin has already decided everything for you, Zelensky said during a video address on Sunday night. But you are not slaves and cannon fodder. You don't have to die. Zelensky suggested that Belarus was being drawn into the war more actively than at the start of Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which began on February 24. Your lives are worthless to them, he continued. And you cannot let anyone decide what awaits you next. The Ukrainian leader's remarks came after Putin told Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko Saturday that Russia will deliver missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads to Belarus in the coming months, Reuters reported. The news agency reported that during a meeting in Petersburg, Russia, Lukashenko told Putin that he was concerned about the aggressive and confrontational actions of neighboring countries Poland and Lithuania. Lukashenko also reportedly asked Putin for assistance in response to NATO-led nuclear armed flights near the Belarusian border. Putin said such a response wasn't necessary, but that Russia would transfer Iskander tactical missile systems to Belarus, which can use both ballistic and cruise missiles, both in conventional and nuclear versions. Putin said the details and logistics of delivering the weapons would be discussed by the defense ministers of Russia and Belarus. Russia will also help Belarus upgrade its Su-25 fighter jets to make them capable of carrying nuclear weapons, Putin said. This modernization should be carried out in aircraft factories in Russia and the training of personnel should start in accordance with this, he said in a broadcast on Russian television. Russia's military will be relying more on its reserve forces as the war in Ukraine, amid slow military progress in the east and the war drags on into its fifth month, according to British intelligence. The fighting is focused in the eastern Donbass region after a failed attempt to capture Kiev earlier on in the war. However, several Russian missiles struck the capital on Sunday for the first time in three weeks. One man was killed and residential buildings and a kindergarten were damaged in the attack on Central District, according to Ukrainian officials. In order not to miss the news, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell, I am waiting for your comment on the news.